We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. <laughs> That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. Cool. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists. Murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away, he and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spymaster. 
a KGB senior officer and head of the 6th Column Special Branch at Lubienka, Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real shadow client. Correct. I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail, a Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive, and we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven, I have marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Surveillance tapes on Janus at the house. Cassidy was asking for money. Yeah, added them to the file. What a stupid system. Record the surveillance in the attic, bring the tapes over to HQ and review them there. The recorder is perfectly capable of playing the tapes as well. Why not just keep them here? Why risk the owners mm. of this house suddenly coming home? Cassidy. They are certainly keeping a close watch on Janus. 
I'm willing to bet those surveillance tapes hold interesting information. Trigger an old memory, he's got perfect recollection. He's practically brain man when it comes to the dogs of the world. Well, I've learned my lesson. Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. I think he comes early just to chat with the birds. He spends more time with them than he does with Janice. A couple of weeks ago, I walked past him. So Janice has an appointment with a male nurse every Saturday. And I have to tell you, he gets into some pretty personal stuff with those animals. He shared his opinion on Janice. Let's just say it's not exactly Huh, strange. Possible Greetings, intruder. Sir. Sweeping area, over. You know what I like about you guys? Here. <laughs> Sir, if you want to come through, I'm going to have to pat you down. This is just standard procedure. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right, just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. Lafayette. He's not well. 
Well, hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. You have a very distinct face, my friend. Eastern European, am I right? But more than that, a refined mix of cultures. You look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. I knew a man once, a doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. Listen, sir, there's no drama. Hold it. Hold it there, buddy. Hands behind. Right. Okay. Someone help me! It's urgent! Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. Okay, thank you, sir. This, uh, this will be over in no time. Thank you. New guy, huh? The regular guy is indisposed. I'm here to take care of Mr. Janus. All right, just ring the doorbell. Someone will be with you in a moment. Who are you? Where's Lafayette? He's not well. well. Hopefully it's something serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. Yeah. You have a very... Are you trying to be intimidating or something? That won't work on me. Uh, Russian. Okay, well, here goes. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, well, Mr. Janus fills his lungs. I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. Yeah, hey, bro. All right, new guy. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Raven. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. Forty-seven, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. 
I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up here. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. about it, buddy. Feels like an easy way out for a man like him. Still, we are close now, 47. here please get some help are we okay what's up
Gathering of the Ark Society. Hmm. That rings a bell. If Janus was its founder, perhaps he's still attending these gatherings, 47. This could be valuable information indeed. Have a situation, some kind of disturbance. robe for Janus. What could he need that for? When you're retired, you can get an astonishing amount of things done.
this is not looking good. Hey, need some help here. Please, go get some help. robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Come on, hmm. you read me? The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. Search formations, spread out. Yeah, yeah. Come on. I think we could do with the paramedics here. Secure the perimeter. I understand. Leave the area in an orderly fashion, please. Right, yep, we're gonna be fine. 